This is the second lab within Unit 2 of 3D modelling and animation. This lab actually takes a bit longer than 15 minutes, so I've split it into several parts. OK, so let's go to Flash Builder. And what I've done is I've created an application. It's got absolutely nothing in it. It's called Flickbook. So this is Flickbook MXML. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to insert a bunch of images in here. Now, I've got these images on the website, so you can download a zip and unzip them. And what we have is 13 images of a man walking and then falling down. In order to get them into Flash Builder, we can simply grab the directory and we can drag it and drop it. And I'm going to go on to source that. So we now have our 13 images in our images directory. So how do we display them within a Flash application? Well, if I go into design mode, then I get my components down here, and I could try and drag and drop an image, but it's not going to let me to do that because, of course, it's not a component. So I have to insert a component, an image component, but I'm actually going to group all of these images together so I can control them more easily. So if I go down to the layout, I'll find a group container, and I'm going to simply drag and drop that to the desktop. I'm then going to go back up to the image container, and I'm going to drag and drop that onto the, onto the, uh, into the group. Now, if I look at the properties, the most important property for us is the source property. And I can load this source property by browsing to the image that I want. So I'm going to go into source, into images, into images, and select picture zero. And now I've got my uh, first picture in there. I can go back into source mode and you can see that it's inserted an MX image at a particular location and the source is images picture zero ping. Now uh, I'm going to remove the XY information there um, uh, just to let it go to the default. And what I'm going to do is I'm simply going to take that of course, we actually need uh, 13 of these. So what, I'm simply going to take this and I'm going to replicate it. That's 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and 12, 13. Now, I'll then change all of these into, uh, to the appropriate value. So I'm just going to pause the recording just now while I do that offline. All right, so by magic, these have all turned into uh, the numbers I need. Um, of course, just edited it offline. And if I now look, try and run this, let's see, providing there are no errors in, in it, then what I've got is a very simple application which just draws all of the images on one uh, on top of one another within that container uh, which I had. And that's the the first part of this uh, lab number two. What I'm going to do next is I'm going to make each of these images invisible and then I'm going to make each of the images visible in turn with every frame that is played. But that's in the next lab.